I recently made a video about the benefits of timecode synchronization. However, what can you do if you don't have a timecode device like a Tentacle Sync E, Track E, or similar to activate your devices with timecode? Now, this video is specifically going to talk about timecode by cable. Now, in this setup, I can demonstrate this with the Zoom F6 and the Canon EOS R, and also with the Atomos Ninja V as the recorder. This only works if you have a device that at least has a timecode output, like the Zoom F6, which has a timecode output right here on the side, which is a mini jack type timecode connection. Now, this could be interesting to you, for example, if you upgrade your audio recorder, because that's actually where I think that most people will find their first encounter with timecode synchronization. If you have an audio recorder that has a timecode output and you think, hey, I could use that to synchronize my audio between my timecode on the audio recorder and my video camera, and then I would not have to do any of the synchronization that is usually necessary based on waveform, clap syncing, or similar techniques. Now, there are two methods that you can actually sync things by wire if you have this type of setup, where you have an audio recorder and a camera that you would like to synchronize in post with more accuracy and not have to rely on different types of microphones on these different devices. And that would be to either connect the audio output, headphone output, or line output of the device to your camera or use that timecode output channel and record that into your camera because it is actually just an audio signal. Now, I would say there are different benefits and drawbacks to each of these techniques to use either the line out or headphone port or the timecode output. One specific reason why the use of timecode by wire is interesting for me is that with that setup, I can actually have my audio recorder, the Zoom F6, which is kind of close to my main camera usually. And with that, I can link the timecode output port to my Atomos Ninja V's line in port. And with that, the camera that is recorded into the Atomos and the Zoom F6 will automatically be able to synchronize in Tentacle Sync Studio to be able to then just have that in my timeline all nice and synchronized. And with that, I actually have both of the Tentacle Sync devices ready to go for even more cameras. So this timecode by wire method might actually be a way for you to simply have the ability to not need as many of the timecode devices, like for example, the Tentacle Sync or any others that offer the same functionality. Now, to use this type of synchronization, you will usually need some type of connection cable between the two. This here is a simple stereo mini jack to mini jack connection cable on both ends. Now, what you'll need to do this is a connection between the two devices. Now, with the Zoom F6, the timecode port on the side is actually simply a mini jack connection. And on the side of the camera or your monitor recorder, you will also usually find a connection like the mini jack that I have right here. This, of course, is simply the microphone input port and that way, you can then record the audio signal coming from your timecode generating device. Now, professional cinema grade cameras usually have timecode built in, and there you will often also find specific needs in terms of the connection cables. However, in consumer grade cameras, you will usually find these mini jack connections, so that's what we are going to use right here. Now, to synchronize between this Zoom F6's timecode, which is the internal timecode clock, and the Atomos Ninja V, for example, or a camera, we're just gonna hook this up into the timecode port right here on the side of the Zoom F6. And on the Atomos Ninja V, I can just go to the side here and there is the mic line in port. And I can just hook this up right there. And now the Atomos Ninja V is actually receiving the timecode signal from the Zoom F6 right here. And there we can now go into the audio settings. And here you can see there are two timecode signals as of right now, one coming through this port and one coming from the camera that is right now recording this video as well. And what we have is on this channel right here, there's the timecode signal which comes from the Zoom F6. And then on this channel one and two, there is timecode signal on the left channel and on the right channel, there's actually a audio signal that is recorded by the Tentacle Sync microphone that is built into that device, which is quite helpful to simply have scratch audio. So now these two are actually connected together 
This way, again, the Atomus Ninja V is recording the timecode signal from the Zoom F6. And then you can synchronize this with the DaVinci Resolve method over audio timecode synchronization or with tools like the Tentacle Sync Studio. This is actually the method that I used when I was starting out with timecode. And this is actually how I first got my toes into that kind of water. And that's actually the reason why I'm also making this video. Because I think that by just knowing that, for example, an audio recorder you purchased has timecode features, and you can already start using that by simply having a really cheap mini jack to mini jack connection cable ready to go. And you can start using timecode synchronization. If you're, for example, using DaVinci Resolve for that process, then you can just get your feet wet. You can test it out. You can see how it works for you. And then later on, you can choose to invest into timecode synchronization gear like the Tentacle Sync that I also talked about on my channel. Now, I think this is one of those things that is really great to have in your tool belt when you are working on a set on your own productions and such things. This type of timecode synchronization is really easy. It's also really cheap. And as I've mentioned, maybe it's a step stone into the direction of timecode synchronization devices like the Sync E or similar devices. Overall, I can say it's an interesting thing to play around with and look into. If you want to learn more about different types of timecode synchronization with different programs like the Tentacle Sync Studio, Premiere Pro, and also DaVinci Resolve, I will have video links in the description below as well as a whole playlist of videos around that topic. Now, if you have any questions about this type of timecode synchronization, you can leave those down in the description below. And while you're down there, maybe you can also leave a like to this video because that helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Now, with that said, I hope you have an amazing day. If you want to watch more videos, these two might be interesting for you. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.